Hey everyone, it's Monica here and it is time for Be Free Friday. Um, so my son Paxton is seven and something that we have to talk to him about all the time is the difference between big deals and little deals. Um, as a seven-year-old whose primary love language is physical touch, who is an extrovert and socializer, he lives with his heart on his sleeve and um, he feels everything immensely, um, good, bad, and indifferent. And so often when he is facing something, we have to kind of direct him to, is this a big deal or is this a little deal? Um, and this week he got really sick as I was driving him home. Um, it was the onset of a stomach flu and we were in the car that's new to us as of a couple months and as we were a mile from home, he got sick and threw up in the car. And I could see him starting to almost hyperventilate because it was our new car and he was about to, he was feeling really bad about it. And before he kind of went over the edge of frustration and feeling bad, I was able to like talk him down and just be like, buddy, this is a little deal. This is a little deal. You can't help throwing up. It can get cleaned up easy. This is why I always insist on leather. It cleans up so much faster. Um, but I was like, buddy, it's a little deal. It's a little deal. And I was able to con like talk him off of the ledge of that and make him feel okay with it because I, as the mom, knew this is so easy to clean up. What's most important is how you feel and getting you home and getting you comfortable. And I wasn't concerned about the car. I didn't care about the car. The car to me was not a big deal. To him, it was. And I had to put into perspective for him that it was a little deal. And it got me thinking about how so often we make little deals big deals um, in our lives. And I in no way mean to diminish pain or suffering or frustration, but I think sometimes we forget that God is watching and sees these situations from his perspective. And it, from his perspective, they're just little deals too. Um, everything in life that we're struggling with cannot be a life or death situation. Every problem can't be life or death. And I think we've gotten to the point, not just as Christians, but just as human beings, like every little problem is a life or death situation for us. And we forget that um, in the grand scheme of things, they, our problems are not as big as we make them out to be. And these difficulties are not as big as we sometimes make them out to be. Sometimes there's devastating situations and devastating circumstances and devastating loss. And of course, those are just so hard to walk through and, and so hard to go through. But um, like we lived in our house in the last you know year or so, it rained in our house. And that was a big deal at the time, but it ended up being a little deal because we were able to have someone come and fix the roof. Or the Christmas that our tree fell over and smashed everything. Really, in the grand scheme of things, such a little deal. I lost a few orn ornaments, but now we have a really fun story to tell every Christmas. Um, we forget God that God is bigger. And I came across in Numbers 13, verse 33, <clears throat> recently, how um, the spies had been sent to go scope out part of the promised land. And in the eyes of the spies, these were Israelites, they went and saw these um, people, and I can't remember the country, some sort of ites. But they came back and said, oh my gosh, they're huge, they're giant. We were like grasshoppers in our own eyes. And um, I think that's just where we're at a lot of times. We look at everything as being the giant and us, these little tiny grasshoppers. And we forget that we have the power of God and that he is bigger than all of that. In Psalm 61 too, it says, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And I have this whole thing that a uh, message that God has just um, put on my heart for so long about mountains and how sometimes we have to go north and we have to climb these mountains. And there's all these different things that that can mean. But I think so often we forget to go to the rock, which is God, but it's also a mountain and to go to the top of that because for one, it gives us a better perspective of who God is, but for two, it gives us a better perspective of what the little deals are that are beneath us. So I just encourage you as you go into this weekend, as you go into this next week, what in your life is a little deal and not a big deal and how much bigger is God in comparison to it let's get the right perspective of those kind of those ratios and I think that we're going to live a lot more victoriously I hope you have a wonderful wonderful weekend bye